I, I came to Kuwait 105 kilos. Here, the food, what? Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm right there with having to take injections for insulin. The food is so good, I'm almost diabetic. All right, here we go. So my name is Nelson Townsend. I'm uh, from Fort Polk, Louisiana. I got into military contracts and started coming over here to the Middle East region um, contracting. I ended up in Kuwait about 2010. Um, did some basic jobs and then uh, still contracting. Now I'm into uh, freelancing. Uh, photography, videography, stuff like that. But it's been a challenging road to get to where I am right now. Do you like Kuwait? Oh, love it. It's been the, it's possibly, quite possibly been the best thing that's happened to me. For me, this is as close to home as it gets. Here there is a, uh, oddly enough, there's a large um, family bonding that goes on here that you don't really see where I come from. Like uh, here, there's like dedicated days that the families like, they get together, they, they eat together, they share stories together, they, uh, they invite friends that are not only just friends, they're like, new family members. Like the Diwania, they have these like, uh, these little gatherings. I, I've been invited to a couple of these barbecues to where, you know, you kind of feel like an outsider and all of a sudden you're like part of the family. You're going on these uh, cool little road trips to seasides, places I've never been. And uh, it, it kind of opens your eyes and lets you know that there's still people in the world that like actually care about who you are. Uh, not so much as like where you're from or what you can do for them or anything like that. Well, I mean, everywhere is going to have that, but here I, I don't, I don't see it like I do where I'm from. Uh, being from Louisiana, the New Orleans area, um, you see racism at its highest because me, I'm a mixed uh, individual. So in a city that's predominantly uh, white and black, um, if you're an outsider like myself, um, they, they, they're real quick to put you in a category and then just keep you there. So there's no up, there's no down, you're just stuck in limbo with however you're labeled, that, that's it. Okay, um, what about religion? Islam. I mean, you, you, I mean you're, you're born and raised Christian probably. And Catholic. Catholic, so you... When I came here, um, you know, in the beginning it was like uh, four o'clock in the morning. Then all of a sudden, there's like these things going off outside the window on the compound, and I'm freaking out. I'm like, "What is that?" And they're like, "Oh, it's prayer call." I'm like, "Oh," you know. After a while, it, it started to become kind of soothing. I went to a uh, I went to a mosque in a gala. They also do uh, they do the calls or they do the entire service in English because there's like expats in there, there's Americans, there's all kinds. So I went in there with a friend and uh, actually listened to it. The message that day was probably the best I've ever heard from anything outside of, of anything, period, I've ever heard. And it was, uh, you know, it spoke about Islam and how they're not pushing their, they don't push their religion onto anybody. Everybody is a brother, uh, whether you're Christian, Catholic, Jewish, whatever, they're like, everybody's your brother. We don't, uh, we don't, we don't condone uh, these, these aggravated things that you hear and see. They're like, everybody deserves the same love and respect. You've been here for 12 years, are you staying longer? Oh, me, I, I definitely want to stay longer. I, I, I love it here. If I had the option to stay, yeah, <laughs> it's a done deal. I'm not, I'm not going back. Yeah, they, I've, I've got, I've adopted the nickname the American Badoon. I don't know. I don't really know what it is, but I know every time I hear it, people laugh. They're like, so where are you from? Where, where, where did you originally come to when you came to Kuwait? When I originally came to Kuwait, I was living in Jara. So they're like, you're definitely an American Badoon. I was like, wow, what is that? And they're like, oh, it's a good thing, bro. Don't worry, man. We got you. Then I end up in slaver cotton, they're like, it got even worse. Yes, I definitely had to get a job. I had to figure out what was gonna be the next step to what's, what's, what's Spanky's next adventure. 
Oh, I got, I got hooked up with uh, with a couple of friends, and we we started doing um, uh, some some bike stuff, some uh, rebuilds, and then uh, I got linked up with well, I got linked up with you, <laughs> and I ended up at Takis Motorsport. I built some really cool cars. I mean, sick. I started making these little videos with my my iPhone. And it, it was going pretty good, like people ended up showing up just to get a video, just to dyno the car for a video, so I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I wasn't charging anybody anything, and then, you know, the golden rule got kicked in. They're like, bro, if you're, if you're, if, if you're good at something, <laughs> why would you do it for free, man? We'll toss it into the price of the dyno, get you a couple dollars. It, 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 uh, it, it started there, I started to get that little weird itch. And then uh, it just it just took off from there in the sense of uh, we started getting like customers and clients from like Qatar, Bahrain, people were coming from Dubai, like just to just to dyno out and, and get a video. So I was like, man, this is fun. I mean, we've had like 1 a.m. mornings, 2 a.m. mornings. Uh, I'm talking about just we were there when they were making fresh bread in the morning. Like for me, this is part of my identity. You know, this is part of me. And uh, Kuwait has literally accepted me for me. And I'm, I'm good with that. I mean, uh, granted, yeah, I've had a lot of offers to like have them removed and everything else. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all right with pain, but you know, I already got it done once. I'm not trying to run it out again. <laughs> hey, this is Nelson. We're on Real Talk. Stay tuned. Coming soon.